7.30 in the morning, I uh, got up, said, hey, let's just go conquer the walls. They're talking to me, you know, they need me. And uh, so I texted the client. I got the key to the building, but not the security code. So uh, I'm waiting for him to kill it off. And then he also has to set the fire alarm to test mode because if you breathe wrong in the building, the sucker goes off. So, so that's all part of the equation. But hey, people, I'm Stuart Smith from Stuart Designs. If you're new to the channel, I paint monsters for a living. And we're here at a local haunt, throwing down, trying to get things done. And um, we're working on the last room of the queue line. And then I have seven or eight emergency doors I need to blend in. Um, and then a little repair in the cave area. And then I'm off to Iowa. So, hey, thanks for coming on board. Thanks for considering subscribing. And, uh, hey, I'll put some uh, more videos in the description below for your enjoyment. If you'd like to support the channel, I do have a PayPal link so you don't have to get yourself into one of those monthly things. One-time gift would be appreciated. And Shopify is coming soon, so there'll be a whole bunch of Stewie swag coming. Thanks for coming on board, people. Enjoy the video. We'll see you next time. Okay. Now, from the last video, we hopper gun. Well, we didn't hopper gun. We distressed all this. And then I completed the video and then we started cobwebbing. And it, it has turned out fantastic. Now, I was trying to figure out how to sit there and get it from pole to pole without touching the backside. Because normally you want something to hit here and then come forward. So I sit there and let the gun sit for like 20 minutes. Really heated up real nice. Went and thought heavy thoughts, you know, soul world hunger and all that other stuff. And then came in and we placed the gun at an angle just like this. And she shot four columns over and was able to get this really nice all the way across there without touching any of the brick. But then the cool part is we sit there and have these nesting in there and then another layer so it's layer upon layer upon layer of cobwebs. And that's going to look really sharp. And again, people, this is the queue line. So even before you get into the haunted house, they're going to have all sorts of cool things. And the customer, being the person that he is, sat there and gave me a toy to play with. So we got this little back bad boy up there that we might sit there and be able to put a small little child thing in there to he's being eaten. And I have to hopper gun this wall, so I'm going to have to be strategic about the legs. I got strategery to take care of that. So uh, so enjoy the video, people. We're, uh, we're conquering today. Uh, once I hopper gun this, it'll take about a day to dry. Um, and then after I note that, I will continue forth with the cobwebbing. All right. Boo-wop. Uh. <laughs> So I wanted to show you guys again the hopper gun mixture. Again, this is Oops Paint and sand and Portland cement. So let's mix that up here before we start hopper gunning so uh, you could use it at your place. Uh, this is a rock hard system that has a slight give to it, but uh, it also helps to adhere to whatever foam. Now I was noticing in here that some of the foam work from the past, um, the cement was just flaking off. 
because it didn't have a binder to stick it to the foam. That's where the paint comes in. And it also helps to make all sorts of divots and, and just really cool just depressions uh, that you can't get with just shooting cement. So let's get that mixture started. So here we have four gallons of paint. Um, been sitting around here for a while and the owner had tons of this stuff. So basically hopper gunning, it's not costing him anything other than buying the cement and sand, okay? So if you have a bunch of oops paint or paint sitting around, it doesn't matter um, consistency or if it has mold or whatever, it's still gonna work, all right? Now I have sand two containers of Portland cement. So I'm going to add the sand in first. Just kind of... Then, I'm going to sprinkle this on here. Again, people, when you're using this stuff, you're going to want to be wearing a mask. All right. And we're just going to blend that in. We're looking for very, very thick cheese soup. You don't want it too thick, or else it won't spray through the gun. If it comes to that point where it's having a hard time to the gun, you can just add a little bit of water. And we're not looking for pretty right now. We're looking for a nice coating that we'll be painting later on. And you don't want any chunks either, because that will sit right in the belly of your gun and, and cause all sorts of problems. Now we're going to add a little bit more cement. I brought in two containers just in case, but I think that should be good. Bring it to the top and then level it off. A lot of your cement, surprisingly, would just sit there sink to the bottom, even with this thick concoction, so you want to just keep on bringing it up. It's a messy process, too, so you're not going to want to wear new clothes. We go buy crap clothes all the time at Salvation Army and Goodwill, <laughs> so uh, no worries there. Now there's our concoction, okay? That's going to spray beautifully, no problem. Got kind of a baby blue going, so we'll actually see what's happening. Awesome. So, okay, let's get to that hopper.